Welcome to West Virginia, Episode 8, Humpback Bridge in Callahan, Virginia. As we continue our tour east of the border in Callahan, Virginia, we stop by Humpback Bridge. Standing in the shallow waters of Dunlap Creek, a tributary of the Jackson River, it's hard to imagine that water levels ever rose high enough to challenge this odd span in Allegheny County. The timber structure, aptly named Humpback Bridge, is one of about 850 covered bridges still standing in the United States, and it is the oldest in Virginia. Built in 1857, the bridge has survived 162 years of flooding, fires, and natural decay that destroyed all other covered bridges along the James River and Kanawha Turnpike. Covered bridges were first built in the 1810s when it was determined that adding a roof over wooden bridges would better protect the decking and support trusses and increase the lifespan of the bridge. The decking and support systems of the era would last an average of 10 years on uncovered wooden bridges. As was later discovered, covered wooden bridges ultimately averaged 10 times the lifespan of uncovered ones. Covered bridges were sometimes referred to as kissing bridges during the more modest era of the late 19th century, as the privacy from passing through a covered bridge would allow passengers in a horse and buggy an opportunity to kiss each other unobserved. Three bridges stood at approximately the same location as Humpback Covered Bridge does today. The first bridge was built in the 1820s and was destroyed by a flood in 1837. A second bridge built the next year was also damaged beyond repair by a flood on July 13, 1842. The third bridge collapsed in 1856 due to heavy use and fatigue from weathering. None of these earlier bridges were either arched or covered. All three bridges were part of the James River and Kanawha Turnpike, a heavily used mountain road that connected the Shenandoah Valley with the Allegheny Mountains and areas further west. The current bridge was built in 1857, and the design of both covering and also arching the bridge was hoped to increase the longevity of the bridge by protecting the midsection from future floods and the decking from the ravaging effects of moisture and sunlight. The arch on the 100 foot long bridge causes the deck to rise four feet in the middle to allow for floodwaters to pass underneath. The decking, unlike houses and other structures, could not be painted to prevent deterioration as the traffic from horses and wagons would quickly remove any available paints of the era. The humpback covered bridge was used from 1857 to 1929 when a steel truss bridge was built for US Route 60 immediately to the north. The bridge was abandoned but was sometimes used by a local farmer in the early 1950s to store hay bales. In 1953, five acres surrounding the bridge were purchased and a small wayside park which opened in 1954 was built allowing easier access. On October 1st, 1969, the bridge was listed in the National Register of Historic Places, and in 2012, it was designated a National Historic Landmark. Most covered bridges were made of the strongest readily available wood. In the case of the Humpback Bridge, this meant white oak and hickory. The bridge, as it stands today, has most of the original hand-hewn support timbers and decking that was laid down in 1857. However, most of the walls and roofing have been replaced several times since. Bridge decking was traditionally constructed of wide planks a foot or more in width and four to six inches thick. Most of the support beams for Humpback Bridge are at least a foot thick. The supports in the bridge utilized handmade honey locust wood pins to fasten sections of the supports together. The supports incorporate a unique curved multiple king post truss system that is not found in any other surviving wooden bridge in the U.S. The bridge is an original and completely unique design not duplicated anywhere else. If your adventures take you anywhere near Covington, Virginia, take the short trip to Callahan and visit the historic Humpback Bridge. You'll be glad you did.